Hey guys, I want to talk for just a little bit here as we're heading down the mountain. As you can see, we've practiced our willpower this morning. Get up and Sunday morning up the mountain, uh, pretty much every day up the mountain. In fact, there's rarely a day we don't go up the mountain. That is practicing our willpower. Some days are cold and wet and rainy. Today was really cold. It was ice on the on the uh, ground this morning, or well, a little bit of frost and a little bit of ice on top of the truck. But uh, practice willpower, very important. Well, I wanted to talk about uh, right now is being a nonconformist. Um, you know, I think a lot of people know me and, and you know have gotten to know me pretty well and understand that, gosh, I don't really conform to a whole lot of, of what the societal norms are. You know, I think about that on the way up the mountain, and one of the things that really bothers me is that we'll teach our children um, when they do something wrong, when their friend does something and they do it with their friend, we'll say, well, if your friend jumped off the bridge, would you jump off the bridge also? And we think that's really kind of stupid for a child to follow along with the crowd and not be an individual, you know? I mean, that's what we teach our kids, be an individual, think for yourself. And I don't think most of us want our children to be conformists, you know, to just give in to everything that the society says, everything their friends say, everything their peers say, all the peer pressure. And yet they look at us and what do they see? They see us conforming to peer pressure. You know, I mean, we're all a bunch of conformists. Um, we're told to act, uh, talk, uh, perform life in a certain way, eat certain foods, um, you know, instead of thinking about it, instead of being a nonconformist and, and thinking, gosh, what should I do? What's the best thing for me to do? What's, what's my path? Now, if your path is to eat a bunch of crap food and you know get heart disease and diabetes and uh, gain a lot of weight and that's your path uh, well all power to you I guess but I don't know that you're actually really choosing that I know a lot of people say they choose that because they want to you know gloss over the fact that they've made some serious mistakes in the past with their health and have kind of gone down a negative road and it's hard to come back I understand that what I'm really concerned with though is that we're being conformists and I want to tell all of the stu my students out there and everybody that will watch this to be a nonconformist, to uh, look at the world critically and ask yourself, you know, what it is that you think you want to, uh, to do in terms of your health, your life. It doesn't matter really what it is. It can be anything. It can be a political issue. It can be a personal, spiritual, religious issue. It um, doesn't matter what it is. But don't be a conformist. Don't conform to the world out there that tells you you have to be a certain way. Um, well, even me, you know, I'm, I'm saying I want you to be healthy. I think that's a pretty reasonable request of all my students and friends and anybody out there that listens to my voice. I think that's a pretty reasonable request is to say, you know, be healthy, um, live healthfully, exercise, practice your willpower, and, uh, you know, don't be a conformist. I'm just, I'm really worried about that. I see all the people around me uh, that I talk to all the time <clears throat> really being conformist to you know how they you know they going to McDonald's going to Carl's Jr. going to Burger King going to Taco Bell or whatever and uh, you know they're doing that because they're addicted to the food they know it's not good for them I mean they know it everybody knows that people that don't know that really I don't know where they've been you know they, they certainly aren't paying attention to any of the information out there on diabetes heart disease all of that and uh, and or they're ignoring it. So be a nonconformist. Don't conform to the system that says this is what you're offered and eat this way uh, or act this way. Or sit on the couch, watch TV like everybody else. Uh, be an individual and uh, forge a different path. Get up in the mountains and hack out a trail for yourself. But uh, don't conform with what everybody else is doing, how they're eating, and how they're not exercising. Take care of yourself.